Today I'm going to talk about prioritizing traffic on a Unify Pro via the two WAN ports. In my case, the main WAN is connected to a low speed and also unlimited connection and one high speed uh, 500 gig link. So what I'm going to be doing is creating a IP set list that contains all the IP addresses for Netflix. I'll be then creating an IP table rule that will take this list and tag that list. And then finally using IP rules, take this tag and pass it out the slow link on my Unified Pro. So let's get started. Once we have SSH'd into our UDM and installed the utilities as per UDM utilities from Boots Chicken, see link in description, then we can proceed to create some boot scripts in slash mount slash data slash onboot.d. Taking a look inside of my onboot.d directory, you can see four scripts that are executed in numerical order. Numbers less than 100 are for IP set rules, and numbers 150 and 151 are for routing those subnets out each of the WAN ports. So let's start by creating a new set for Netflix using 12 as the prefix. First, we'll obtain a list of IP addresses from ipinfo.io using Netflix's AS number of AS2906. As we can see, there is a list of IP address ranges, but not all are showing. So click on the show more IP ranges button and the list grows. It actually consists of 100 subnets. We will copy the contents of the table and paste it back into the file we are editing on our UDM. Save that file and exit back out to the command prompt. Next, we will need to format all the lines in the file to conform to IP set rules. We use said to remove everything after the subnet on each line. This is done by matching the tab directly after the subnet and matching everything to the end of the line. using dash i for in place match and replace. Next, we will need to prepend the ipsec command itself. This time we match the beginning of the line using the character character, then replace that with ipset add Netflix, making sure to add a space at the end and once again use the in place mode for said. Now we edit the file one last time, adding the command interpreter bin sh. After that, add a new line and create an IP set list that all subnets will be added to as a hashnet table. Save that file. And now we need to change the mode of the script so it can be executed on startup of the UDM. We can now execute the script and check the IP set list. As we can see, all the subnets are now listed. Lastly, we need to set up our routes. For me, I have a route for a slow link with unmetered data. So let's edit that file. As you can see, once again, the first line set the interpreter. Next, I create a route to send via an IP address that is the private IP address of my ADSL modem. I already have a single IP set up for any mail to this ISP to go via this link. Next, we'll add our IP tables rule as a pre-route. Using the set to match our IP set list, 
on destinations and lastly mark all matching packets with 151 in the mangle table. Once all the packets are marked they will be matched by an IP rule and sent to the routing table. Let's save this file now. We can now run this file and have it add all the IP tables and IP route rules. But we got an error. Taking a look back at the file, once more we can see that I forgot to tell IP rule that the source is from 0 slash 0, so let's fix that. Now when we run the file, we can see that it executed. The RT net link errors are from the existing rules and can be safely ignored. Update. I have changed the routing file from what was shown. The change is to make sure that before the route is added, that network and router internal IPs are up and working as uh, the IP route rule will fail to be created and all traffic will end up routing back out whichever WAN port is active. Next was to remove the device setting the route table so that the upstream links can be plugged into either WAN port without the need to edit the files. If you liked the video, please press the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.